What's going on guys, LEGO Boy Productions here with my massive LEGO Clone Army, my 2014 Summer Wave season. So right here we got my 2014 Summer uh, Wave series, Cap uh, Commander Nao, then Captain Rex, and then Commander Cody. In Commander Cody's platoon, oh, we better put down his visor. In Commander Cody's platoon we got 8 bomb squads, 8 um, 212th clones, Eight to twelfth airborne troopers. I like their new helmets. Like they have really cool. Like the summer wave, they have cool helmets now. Then there's the two twelfth clone troopers helmets. They've got a lot of detail on them. Oops, sorry. And then into Captain Rex's uh, platoon. And that's th that's the new Captain Rex. Yeah, so I just picked him up not too long ago. So I was like, I better get the Captain Rex because I don't have a Captain Rex yet. So we got behind him four uh, four Kashyyyk Kloop troopers and then four Kashyyyk command uh, clones, uh, two bomb squads. No, not two bomb squads. Two clone gunners, and these are just in the old clones. Two clone pilot. Uh, two clone uh, jetpack clones. One is the wolf pack one. Then we got three ARF troopers. One phase two clone trooper. Four uh, uh, speeder commandos. Three um, clone pilots, and then a new clone. Into Commander Grease platoon. As you can see there, I've got I kind of colored on my clone troopers and stuff. So that kind of sucks. Oops! I just knocked over Captain Re Commander Cody. So in Commander Grease platoon. Seriously, I gotta stop knocking over Captain Rex. Okay, in Commander Grease platoon, we got uh, seven just normal clone troopers. And then we got a Senate clone commando. And then we got four of the new clones. And then we got a bounty hunter, which kind of looks like a clone because I count it as a clone because of, of his helmet. It's the only reason why I count him as a clone. Then we got two old, whoops, we got six, I mean five, um, scout troopers, and then we got two of the old clones, and then we got, uh, seven cl clone pilots from the older season. Then we got two of the speeder bikes, and we got that walker, and then onto the clone commanders. We got Commander Wolf, uh, just a custom commander that I made. Just with um, the old like legs pieces and the uh, shoulder pad. Then I got a custom Captain Rex, and I can't remember that ca what his. What, I think this is a commander. But in my next like my winter sa uh, wave, I will look up his name, and because I know it's in a movie. And the only reason why the, the two twelve clones are clone troopers is because from episode um, I can't remember the ep I think it was episode sixteen, where it's clones versus clones. And they both have the exact same face. And then on my Jedi's, I got like Jedi's, and then there's Wilda the Hut in that corner. And then on to the Endor battle thing, we got like Ewoks and Wookiees, and then Endor people. And then if you're wondering why I have Geonosians inside my clone army, they they're not really on anybody's side. If you've seen some episodes, they're they're on the clone army. They they join the Republic and stuff. And then I got all my astromechs. I got, I don't know how many astromechs. Ten astromechs, a uh, C-3PO, and a gunk droid. Then I got some Mandalorians. I got the Mandalorian commander, and then just four regular uh, Mandalorians. And then I got the rebels. And then I got um four, four Gungans. Uh, Judger Binks, Judger Binks, two Jung Gungan warriors. And then I just got my, I got my, what's it called? Um, I think it's like the Sith, but Stormtroopers and all those other ones are just part of the clone army because they started out as clones. So then just onto the, onto the sets. Okay, I'll start on this side. We got two V-Ming Starfighters. You got the Mandalorian Starfighter. Or Mandalorian something, Mandalorian Shuttle. Something like that. Then we got a bark speeder, 
Actually, that's Commander Nail's bark speeder, and then we got a bark speeder with sidecar. We got a small walker, and then a battle station. And we got an indoor um, hideout. And we got a walker battle pack, and then we got one of those um, uh, what are they called? Um, stations for the clone troopers, like an outpost. And then we got a uh, 501st walker, ATAP walker. No, AT. I don't know anymore. AT ATRT. The new like 2010 one, and then we got one 501st clone trooper over there. And then we got the um, uh, Sith shuttle transporter. Then we got a clone cannon. Right beside there, we got the clone turbo tank. Then we have two ARC-170 Starfighters. Four speeder bikes. Um, two of the mini small swamp speeders. Mini swamp speeders for four Kashyyyk clone troopers. Then we got the big swamp speeder. And then we got the Venator class Republic attack cruiser. Then we got the Genosian cannon. Then we got a, um, what is it called, um, a Mandalorian speeder. And then we got the V-Wing Starfighter, the new 2014 one. And then right here we got the Tantive 4 or 5, I don't know. I think it's the four, Tantive 4. Then we got the ATTE Walker. Then we got the... Um, what is this? Um, the the Venator Quas... No. The Republic Frigate. And then we got the Jedi Starfighter. Republic Gunship. Then Jack 14 Stealth Starfighter. Then we got the V-Wing Starfighter. Just uh, the 2010 one. And then we got a Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter. And then we got a Geonosian Starfighter. And then we got the... The... Separatist... I think it's the Separatist Gunship or something like that. Separatist Shuttle. Yeah, Separatist Shuttle. So that is it for my massive clone army. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more of my clone armies. And if I get enough subscribers, comments, and views, I will probably release another series uh, wave through this. Or I'll put probably like some um, talk about how much like this costed me to get. And if you want to know how much, I'll post in my next video that I make, whatever how much it cost me to buy all this and I've got also more sets on the shelf so that's it please rate comment subscribe for more of my videos and um, bye